guys welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video you guys I am so excited so in lieu of Christmas I know everybody has been so busy I've been busy myself I have not had time to DIY so I went out shopping and I figured that I would bring you guys a Dollar Tree haul I also have a few other things like some Walmart clearance items just like two items and um, a few other things to show you guys but mainly this is going to be a Dollar Tree haul so if that's something you're interested in I would love if you would stick around by clicking that red subscribe button and then once you click that red subscribe button you just want to tap that bell and all that way you're notified every single time I upload that way you don't miss another crafty moment haul moment I do lots of giveaways on my channel as well and I would love if you would be a part of that so anyway with all that being said let's jump into today's video So I just wanted to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas before we get started or however you guys spent it, rather you celebrate Hanukkah or any other type of holiday. I just wanted to extend from my family to yours a very merry holiday. So anyway, you guys, I went out shopping. I could not wait. You guys know me. I love to shop. So I'm going to start with the Dollar Tree stuff. Get that out of the way. Um, I went to several different stores. I also want to mention... Please don't say in the comments, my store sucks. I, you guys, my store really isn't the best either, and I have to travel to several different stores. So on this particular day, I did go to three different stores. So just keep that in mind that not everything comes from the same place. Okay, so starting off, I have been seeing these lanterns for like a month, and my store did not get them until just the other day. So I'm going to pop up a picture here in a minute because I did pick up the green one, but I did make that as a gift. So I don't have that one with me, but I did pick up the white, green, and red ones. The white one has like the snowflakes and they're really good size. You guys, when I saw them, I thought that they were smaller, but they're really, they're a nice size. So um, you just want to pull the tab at the bottom to get that light to come on. And I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see it. But it is a nice little flickering light on all of them. So that's the snowflake. This is the deer and the trees. I thought that this one was super, super pretty. And then the green one has a Christmas tree on it. So like I said, I'll pop that up on the screen um, here. Moving on, I picked up these. They're the mini pine picks. They are from the Christmas collection. Um, I picked up two packs, but I picked these up because they're perfect for winter decor. Um, you don't necessarily have to use these for Christmas, so I did pick up two packs of those. I picked up a ton of ribbon. These were new to my store. Again, they're by, they're the Christmas, um, has the Christmas house brand but my store did not have these out until after christmas so i don't know but it is a green buffalo check a green with like a tan line a tan with green branches gnomes and then green with gold deer so these that was it for like christmas winter stuff i didn't want to go crazy because um, I didn't tell you guys, but we're moving soon. Um, I will let you guys know a little bit more about that. Yes, the shed's going to go with me. I know that question is going to come up. It's already came up. Yes, the shed's going with me. I'm still going to be DIYing in the shed. That's going to be my place of DIYing, so don't worry about that. Um, but anyway, I will talk to you guys about that. If you guys want me to... Um, go live and chat for a while let me know in the comments down below i would love to do that with you guys so anyway i found these cool glass jars again you guys they're super nice size look how big they are like when i saw them i had to take a double take because not only do they have jute around it for the hanger but they're really big i mean look that's my head 
so I thought that I picked up two of them those were the only two that they had so I'll be on the lookout for those because I can think of multiple DIYs right this second so I can only imagine if I actually sat down and thought about it what I could actually come up with so many different things so be on the lookout for those another new thing I saw um, I, I can't remember if I saw these before but they're um, the green briar I was about to say wooden briar because I seen wooden chalkboard green briar wooden chalkboard and I thought these would be perfect for a multitude of different things but of course chalk couture came to mind for this so it's like a little I don't even know what you want to call that Zach what would you call that a standing sign that is what we came up with so this is a little standing wooden sign and again for a dollar you guys real wood I mean it's super cheap wood but it's wood nonetheless a chalkboard on either side and it stands up okay you cannot beat that okay guys so I had to take my glasses off so I could put the ring light closer because I could just tell that the lighting wasn't very good on the item so sorry for the horrible lighting in the beginning I don't even really know if it's that great now but I think it's a little bit better so we're just gonna go with it okay moving on Dollar Tree stuff I also picked up I know I picked up white yarn to the premier just chenille and it's like that baby soft yarn and it comes with a good bit in it for a dollar 65 yards and I was thinking more along the lines of Valentine's Day um, with this so again I don't know where the white one is but I have the exact same one just in white I also picked up which you guys have seen these before but um, anytime I see them I pick them up because they're kind of like a diamond in the rough they're hard to find um, I use them all the time and they are these I don't know hinge looking stickers they're like foam stickers so they're 3d they make any sign look really cute you can do barn doors with these you can do so many different things so again I always pick up these when I see them and I only saw two packs I thought these were also really cool these are galvanized signs I have seen other people either DIY or haul these I haven't seen them in my store until um, I went shopping that day so this one says family makes this house a home and it's again a galvanized piece and then like this little piece has the main word on it so family so I would paint over that get those lettering get that lettering off of there and make something totally different with that and then this one says this is us our story our life and our home and again the main word home is on that little plaque and then the wrestling word uh, the rest of the wording is above it on the galvanized part and that wording should just either scratch right off actually no don't scratch that um it should rub right off with some acetone nail polish remover so if you guys want to see that DIY let me know as well okay moving on to the good stuff the new stuff the Valentine's Day stuff actually matter of fact these are old news but if you want to see a really cool DIY pick up a small and a large wood blend wreath and I'm about to do a really cool DIY I don't know if I'll post it on TikTok or um, YouTube so again you can let me know in the comments but if you guys aren't following me on all my other social medias you're definitely missing out I'm having so much fun with TikTok I'm doing a bunch of different stuff over there so if you're not following me I am all things crafty too, all one word on both TikTok and Instagram and all things crafty on Facebook so check me out there all my links are in my link tree in the description box as well 
So don't forget to pick those up if you want to do a cool, cool, trust me, you're going to want to do this one. I know you guys all too well. Okay, moving on to the Valentine's Day stuff for real. So, of course, you have the classic truck and the love camper. That's the love shack. <laughs> um, did they have these out last year? I know they had a truck, but I can't remember if it was this exact one. Um, and, and I can't rem I know they had a camper last year too, but I can't remember if it was this exact one or not. So let me know. I also picked up the wording. This one says, Happy Valentine's Day. This is perfect on like the larger signs they sell and you can paint it and then stain this and attach it. There's so many different things you could do. So I picked up that one, the Happy Valentine's Day. I picked up the Forever and Always, and this one is super, they're all super cute because they all have a 3D element to them. So like on those two, the hearts are 3D. And then on this one that says Kiss Me, the lips are 3D. How cute is that? So definitely lots of fun things to do with those. I also picked up these little, I don't even know what you want to call this. A triangle box. I don't know. I don't know. Again, if somebody knows, let me know. But there were four different ones. One says love. And of course I can't find the other one. Oh no, you know what? I did only pick up three of them, I think. But one is a gnome, one is a truck. And I'm thinking like, you know, paint that and put a little cute flower arrangement in there. Again, a bunch of different things you can do with that. Anyway, I thought I picked up another one. There is, I'll, I'll insert some footage because I did grab some footage for TikTok, but um, one says love and I forget what the other one says. Next, again, I don't know if these are, I know that um, they've always had the color your own ornament, but I don't know if they've had this design. So one is like a thicker heart with lines through it. And then the other one is kind of like a taller heart with the heart cut out in the middle. So I don't know if they had those last year. But I do know that there's eight of them in these packs instead of the five. See, you can see here where the five is crossed out. I'm not going to focus and I can't see. Next there are the wooden DIY stickers. Oh, I forgot to mention I did pick up two each of these. So again, so many different things. Um, these are the DIY wooden stickers so you can use them as is or paint them, stain them. Uh, glitter them up just about anything your little heart desires you can do with these one says kiss me and has cupid the other is just roses lips and hearts i also picked up one of these mdf love signs perfect for diys a little wooden decor heart these I was thinking like conversation hearts that would be super cute they're the perfect shape and size to make cute little conversation hearts with those okay last Dollar Tree item are these um, cute little Valentine's Day truck socks look how cute they are I always pick up socks from Dollar Tree they're not the best in the world, but for a dollar, they're amazing, I believe. That's just my opinion. Opinions, you know the saying, we all have one. I personally love the like novelty socks. 
So you can also let me know, do you guys like Dollar Tree socks or would you much rather just spend more and get nicer, better ones? Okay, so this is just the two items from the Walmart clearance. Now, Walmart have 50% off. You can certainly wait and wait for the better sales, the 75%, the 90%, but by that point, you're not really going to find much. So whenever it goes on sale, I grab it. If I can save 50%, great. If I can save 75%, great. It doesn't really matter to me. And there was only one of these, so I knew that somebody would snatch it up. And I wanted to be the one to have it. So anyway, it is... Let me see what brand. So it just says Walmart. And it is like gift wrapping ribbon but I never use it to wrap gifts I always use it on my projects so um, I thought it would be beautiful for spring even though it was in the Christmas section it's burlap and green I mean it doesn't look like a Christmas pattern to me let's just put it to you that way so I picked that up and it was four dollars and some change and then I also picked up actually I got three items this is a decor sign, again, 50% um, off, it was $2.50, but it's good size, it has this galvanized piece here, I can take that wording off or save it for next year, I thought he's cute as is, or I could DIY him. Okay, moving on, this is another $5 sign. I loved the buffalo check around it. It says Merry Christmas, and it has like a faux wood um, pattern in the back. So again, this would be super cute to just leave as is for next year, or super cute to DIY. You could paint that middle part and just put a different saying, or paint the whole thing and just change the whole vibe and look of it. But again, that's the beauty of DIY. I'm gonna make this sign the way I like it and you can buy one and make it the way that you like it. So that is it for the um, Walmart stuff. Now this is the Chalk Couture stuff. I got a bunch of Valentine's Day stuff I could not wait to get my hands into but I knew that I had to show you guys first. So anyway, um, the first one is the Heart and Home Chalk Made Kit. What I love about the Chalk Made Kits are you literally get every single thing you need all in one package for one low price. So here it is, your blocks. Um, it is this, I'm gonna show you what it is first, duh. It is a Home and Love Block Set. And I'm gonna insert a clip here in a minute as well just to show you. Actually, I'll insert a clip here just to show you what it looks like. And so what comes in this kit is every single thing you need. The blocks, the little house and heart that go for the O's, the transfer that you can cut up and do it however you like. Four packets of paste, which Trust me when I tell you, you only need to put a little bit of paste out at a time. It gives you color trays. Um, it gives you a paintbrush. Did I say that? It gives you tape to tape on your house and heart for the O. And it gives you a squeegee plus instruction. So that's why I love the Chalk Made Kit, you guys. If you guys want to... Um, learn more about the chalk made kit just let me know in the comments or i will also leave a link directly to it in my link tree in the description box so i got a couple of those i also got my club couture transfer which i haven't had a chance to do yet so i mean we only got a couple days left of the month so i better get to it right <laughs> okay so this is December's Club Couture Transfer. I love it so much. I want to make a shirt with it. Actually, there's a few things. Um, it says, good things are going to happen. And I just could not feel this saying more. Really, you guys. I have 
a lot going on right now. A lot of good, good changes going on in my life. I'm super blessed. I'm super grateful for all of the blessings, all of you, and even though it's a lot, it's a good overwhelming. So anyway, this transfer hits home. Um, there's a few days left to get it. So if you guys want to get it, just let me know in the comments and I can shoot you that info. Or again, my Club Couture link is in the description box. You can only get this particular transfer until December 31st and then in January. I'll pop up on the screen what transfer is for January here. Okay guys, so I'm just going to run through these as quick as possible because I don't want to bore you and um, I've got a ton to do today. So I'm going to run through them. I did want to mention for Christmas, I'm offering right now to all of you guys 25% off of a Chalk Couture order. It's the holidays. I know that, you know, we get Christmas money and maybe this time of year the people who really want to try it and just couldn't all year long maybe you guys can and maybe with my 25 percent discount you can get a couple extra things that you wanted or something i don't know i'm just trying to do it to you know extend my love and show you guys how much i appreciate you so i'll have the shop link down in the description box as well so starting with the a size transfers there are five different sizes. They range from small to large, obviously, and this is the smallest one we have. Okay, I had to bring you guys a little bit closer because it was kind of freaking me out. I couldn't see if you guys could see what I could see, but if you guys can see this back here, this is the Chalk Made Kit. Look how cute it is. I put it up on the love side, so, um, oh shoot, I messed it up. Look, love sweet home. <laughs> Love, sweet home. Mm -hmm. Blue letters. So, for home, sweet home. Blue. Love is in the air. Love is in the air. Love is always in the air around here. Mm -hmm. Two weeks later. There we go. Okay, so it says, love is in the air. Look how cute it is. So this one says, I hate you the least. And look how cute that little kitty is. This one says, this one is Valentine's Kisses. And it says Valentine's, it's got lips and it says Kisses. And um, A sized or five by seven. This one is a little typewriter. I love this one. P.S. I love you. P.S. I love you. Okay, this one's really, really cool. So, we have a transfer, and it is the jar cutout blooms. So, one says bloom and grow. The other one says follow your heart. And then you also get the coordinating jar cutout. <gasps> How cool is that? So you could put this on the front and then this on the back. And they're heavy, you guys. They're really good quality. They're really nice. I love it. I just love when they do the coordinating um, transfers with the cutouts. Okay, we also, we're moving on to, okay, that was B size. B sized are eight, eight and a half by 11. So like a sheet of computer paper. This one's Hugs and Kisses, um, February 14th, XOXO, Hugs and Kisses. Super cute, super, super cute. These are totally reusable. As long as you take care of them, once you're done with them, wash them thoroughly. You should get Chalk Couture Claims 12 uses. We, us designers have gotten so many more than 12 uses. So, um... I've even gotten sometimes 50 uses out of one transfer, so keep that in mind. Um, there's also a special running right now on the website as well. If you go to my website, go to specials, you'll see all the discount and stuff. Okay, this one is All You Need Is Love. Look how cute that is. It's just got like this floral pattern around it. I love that font. 
it's different. You don't see that all the time. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like my like farmhousey, but it's nice to switch it up every once in a while. Okay. Next, love makes a family. So this one just said love makes a family and has hearts. Nothing too fancy. Still eight eight and a half by eleven, so that's B size. Now these are the Valentine's minis. I always get excited for the minis. These are perfect for tier trays. Uh, mugs, glasses, we sell ink. You can make shirts, you can um, put it on mugs. As long as you heat set the ink, it will be permanent. So these are perfect. Look at the little truck down there. Look how cute he is. I'll definitely be bringing you guys some DIYs with these as well. So if you um, want to DIY along with me, definitely get your order in. Okay, this one is Let Your Heart Be Glad. This is a C size. C size is 12 by 18. And again, it's just got like little designs around it. Sorry for the glare, but this is in plastic. That way it doesn't get damaged. So really good size. The next C size, and this is the next to last. Next to last. So if you guys are around, leave me a red heart in the comments because you guys are amazing. Okay. Hello, Valentine, this one. I absolutely love this one. So you can make so many different signs with this. This one, or the top one says, I love you. And the heart is like a newspaper. That's really cool. The next one says, be mine, love, and then hello, Valentine in cursive. So hopefully you could see that. There we go. Look how pretty you guys. Can you see that newspaper? My camera just does not want to focus. And last but not least, we have the hand brushed heart pattern. This would be perfect for pillows, um, a background of a sign. So I have what's called a mask. And you lay this down after you after you fuzzed it then you put the mask on top so the only thing that you'll squeegee is everything except the circle in the middle and then that way you could put like a little sign in the middle so um, again possibilities are absolutely endless with this transfer so let me know in the comments down below which transfer was your favorite which Walmart find was your favorite, and which Dollar Tree item was your favorite. Also, don't forget to do all the YouTube things. Give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you have stuck around this long and you didn't subscribe, what are you doing with your life? You don't want to miss another crafty moment. And also, one last thing, don't forget to share this with your family and friends because those thumbs up and those shares really help my channel to grow and help YouTube to notice me just a bit more. And with all that being said, if nobody has told you today, you are absolutely stunning and gorgeous. You are worthy and I love you with all my heart and soul and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!